A new company on the market called Extrapic is making chips that are apparently 10,000 times more efficient than NVIDIA chips. And what makes this claim interesting is that it isn't built on the usual tricks of shrinking transistors or optimizing GPU architectures. The entire jump comes from something completely different, something they call thermodynamic computing. The idea sounds complex at first, but the core concept is surprisingly simple once you peel back the jargon. Everything in the universe has a little bit of shake a little bit of wobble. Atoms vibrate, electrons jitter, and nothing is ever perfectly still. That constant jitter is called thermal noise, and it is literally what temperature is. In traditional computers, this noise is treated like the enemy. We spend billions of dollars engineering ways to eliminate it, cool it down, resist it, and hide from it so our ones stay one and our zeros stay zero. The entire computing industry has been built around creating a quiet room where the accountant inside the machine can do his job without interruption. Extropic's entire philosophy begins by asking a single question. What if the noise isn't the problem? What if the wobble, the shake, the randomness of nature is not something to fight against, but something we can actually use as fuel? To explore this idea, they had to redesign the most fundamental building block of a computer, the bit. Instead of a bit that is either zero or one, they built something called a probabilistic bit or p-bit. A normal bit is like a light switch, binary, rigid, final. A p-bit is more like a magic coin. You can tell this coin, I want you to land heads 70% of the time. And without doing any math, without simulating randomness, it simply behaves that way. The circuit itself physically behaves like that. One moment, you can ask it to be a 70-30 coin, the next moment a 50-50 coin, and the next moment a 99 to 1 coin. The bias changes instantly, controlled by simple inputs. A GPU can pretend to be a coin like this, but it has to cheat. It generates random numbers, compares values, runs probability checks, and decides logically which outcome to output. All of that computation is expensive, it burns energy at every step. A p-bit doesn't pretend. It uses the natural wobble and randomness of the universe itself to continuously bounce between states. And because this wobble already exists in the silicon, the circuit consumes almost no energy to behave probabilistically. One p-bit is cute and interesting, like a party trick. But the question that matters is what happens when you connect thousands or even millions of these magic coins together. This is where Extropic's Thermodynamic Sampling Unit, or TSU, comes in. A TSU is essentially a giant crowd of p-bits wired into a network, where each p-bit nudges its neighbors by following a simple rule. Try to align with the people next to you. It's an idea borrowed from a technique called Gibbs sampling, but the intuition is much simpler. Imagine standing in a huge crowd of people. Each person can only see their immediate neighbors. You give every person one instruction. Look at your neighbors and slightly increase your chance of matching them. Nobody is in charge. There is no leader, no supervisor, no global coordinator. Yet the entire crowd eventually settles into a pattern that reflects the most likely configuration, given the rules of the system. The pattern that emerges is not random anymore. It is the answer. It's the denoised image, the solved probability distribution, the most likely state of the system. This is why thermodynamic computing is so efficient. The p-bits are not computing probabilities, they physically embody them. They are not calculating where the bottom of the valley is. The system simply rolls downhill to the lowest energy state. There is no accountant doing frantic arithmetic. There is only a network of tiny circuits whispering to each other locally, using almost no energy, letting the answer emerge naturally. When Extropic wanted to test this, they built a new kind of AI model called a denoising thermodynamic model, or DTM. The idea behind it is similar to how modern image generators work. You begin with pure static, like the random black and white noise on an old TV, and you slowly remove the noise according to rules the model learned from examples. GPUs do this by running layer after layer of massive matrix multiplications. Every pixel requires heavy calculations. Every step consumes enormous power. Extropic flipped the idea upside down, 
Noise is their native language, their chips live inside it. Instead of calculating probabilities in software, their hardware naturally relaxes into the most probable answer. To measure how well this approach works, Extropic simulated a small slice of a future chip and trained a DTM to generate tiny black and white images of shirts, shoes and bags. Then, they compared the energy used by their simulated thermodynamic system to the energy used by a real GPU, completing the same benchmark. The result came back with a headline number that shocked the entire industry, around 10,000 times less energy. 10,000. That's the kind of number that doesn't even feel real at first. If your phone lasted one day on a charge, 10,000 times longer would be 27 years. If your electricity bill was $100, 10,000 times less would be a single penny. If a cross-country flight took five hours, 10,000 times shorter would be under two seconds. We're not talking about a small efficiency win. We're talking about a different universe of computing. But this is where we need to take a breath and be adults about it. The people at Extropic are not scammers. They're serious researchers. They published their findings. They released the software used for simulation. Independent experts checked the math and confirmed it is correct. But this 10,000 times figure is based on a simulation solving a very small, very simple problem. These tiny images are not photorealistic pictures of astronauts riding unicorns on Mars. This is more like watching a rookie baseball player in a batting cage hitting a ball so hard it breaks the sound barrier. You know the power is real, but it doesn't mean he's ready to play under the pressure of the World Series. Extropic has built a real physical chip called the X0 and they put it into a development kit called the XTR0 that partners can experiment with. But this is still the Wright Brothers' first airplane. It proves flight is possible, but it's not ready to cross the ocean with passengers. Their real commercial chip, called the ZED-1, is still in development. It will have hundreds of thousands of p-bits, all interconnected, forming a programmable thermodynamic graph. But there is another challenge. You can't take today's AI models written for GPUs and run them on a thermodynamic chip. The two systems think differently. GPUs are accountants, they do math. TS us are Zen masters, they let answers emerge. The algorithms themselves must be reinvented. Extropic created DTM as one example. But the entire software ecosystem must be built from scratch, just like we once had to invent CUDA and PyTorch when GPUs became AI engines. Even with these limitations, the potential impact is massive. Right now, the world is running headfirst into an AI energy crisis. Data center operators are warning of shortages. Some companies are seriously considering building private nuclear reactors to power future models. The electricity demand for AI could dwarf entire national grids. If we continue scaling AI using only GPUs, the cost and infrastructure required become almost impossible. So the question becomes, what if we could generate vastly more intelligence per watt of energy? What if, instead of scaling power, we scaled efficiency? Thermodynamic computing directly attacks that bottleneck. If chips like the Z1 eventually reach maturity, the kind of superintelligent AI that today requires a billion dollar data center could one day run on a phone, a car, or even a pair of glasses without killing the battery. Doctors in remote villages could carry portable diagnostic tools with the intelligence of an entire medical library inside them. Scientists could simulate proteins, materials, and complex systems using hardware that naturally drifts toward the correct answers. Entire industries could shift from computational brute force to probabilistic elegance. This approach might even change the nature of AI itself. Today's models are giant calculators pretending to be creative. They approximate probabilities using deterministic math. Thermodynamic computers think in probabilities from the ground up. They embrace randomness physically, not symbolically. AI running on this kind of hardware might be more intuitive, more creative, and maybe even more brain-like in how it arrives at conclusions. It could be less like an accountant and more like an artist. We are at a crossroads. Down one path, AI grows into an incredibly expensive, energy-hungry technology. 
controlled by a handful of corporations that can afford the power. Down the other path, the path Extropic is trying to open, intelligence becomes abundant, cheap, and democratized. Not because we built bigger power plants, but because we discovered a better way to convert energy into thought. It's too early to know which path wins. But what is clear is that something new has entered the conversation. The magic coins are real. The first chips exist. The simulations are promising. The story is only beginning, and each flip of a p-bit is another tiny step toward a future that just months ago seemed impossible. So, do you believe Extropic's approach can actually scale to real-world AI models? Or will GPUs continue to dominate? Comment below. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.